Hi, uh, today I'm going to do a book recommendation video, uh, specifically aimed at people who don't read a lot, but want to start to get into reading and just want to read really, really good books that are pretty much universal. The first book I want to recommend is Wonder by R.J. Palacio. This is the only book that has a 5 out of 5 zero rating, which means that me and all four of my siblings have read it and liked it, so I can highly recommend this one. Um, it's about a boy who's born with a facial deformity, and it's told from his perspective, and it's told also from his sister's perspective, and I think a few other people. But uh, it just talks about how he is able to uh, start going to school as a normal boy and not be homeschooled anymore. The next book I have to recommend is The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. And the reason why I have two copies of this book is because I bought one full price, just because I've heard a lot about it. And I found the second one being sold as a second-hand book. And I realized how much I liked it after I read it for the first time. And then I bought that one too. And I'm not going to consider this a waste at all because for most of both of these books' lives, they have been borrowed by other people. It's an autobiography. It's about a girl who is born uh, into poverty with her family, but then uh, she finds a way to escape the poverty and then she realizes that... Oh, I'm ruining the book. Anyway, it is an autobiography and I'm not going to say anything else about that. So uh, read it. Highly recommend. Enough that I have two copies and I don't feel bad about it. If you have talked to me at all in the past uh, two years about books in general, you have probably heard me rave about Eleanor and Park. It's about two teenagers who have a romantic sense relationship, but it is not a typical YA romance book. I have read this book three times, like I can't tell you how much I love this book. Uh, there are some problems in the book, like there are some things that I don't particularly agree with and there are some questions I have for the author, but this is my favorite book to recommend and I love to hear people's reactions towards the end. The only problem I have with this book is that I have the book in the ugly cover. Uh, there is a much nicer one in like a pale yellow, uh, there's also a pale blue one which I really like, but the pale yellow one, it's the collector's edition, it has beautiful artwork in it. I really want it and I will buy it. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I just need to convince myself to buy the second one. The good thing about The Glass Castle is that I found it secondhand. So it wasn't like I was spending the price of a full book to get it. It was just like, yeah, the price of a meal. I can, I can justify that, but I can't even imagine why anyone would give Eleanor and Parks like for donation or a secondhand. It's just, it's, it's good. It's great. Read this please. The third book I have to recommend is A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I have read this book for the first time when I was 12 or like 11 or like in my preteen years and I've been rereading it throughout the years and have just recently reread it again. Let me tell you, this book I feel has changed my life. It's just, it's so good. I, I watched the movie first before I read the book so like everything that happened wasn't a big surprise but like this is I think my gateway into the classics world. Uh, I would highly recommend this book. Um, it is kind of childish, so it does, it's obviously, it feels like a children's book. When I reread this recently, I just realized how much of an impact this book has had on me and of my, on, on my personality. Uh, it's really changed my outlook on the world, and it's just really good. Like, I would read it again. It's great. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. The next book I'll recommend is Lullaby by Chuck Palahniuk. Uh, I am a big fan of Chuck Palahniuk. Um, I did not recommend Fight Club just because I enjoyed this book a lot more. It's kind of creepy, it's kind of weird. I don't remember the storyline that well, I need to reread it, but I do remember that it's about a lullaby that people have found that kills people just by hearing it. Uh, and it's about a group of people that are on a quest to try to find all copies of the lullaby and delete them. It's really good. It is kind of disturbing. It's not like the rest of the books that I've shown you. The rest of them are, like, none of them have anything, like, overtly disturbing, but I could see why people might not like this one. I would recommend this if you have a strong threshold for disgustingness. Uh, I can't remember if there's any gore, but uh, recommendation with caution. The next book I have to recommend is Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. This book is amazing. It is so good. The only problem with this book is that it's kind of slow in the beginning, so it might take some people some time to get used to. I'm recommending this with the idea that you are a person that reads a lot of books, 
and you have a high threshold for not necessarily seeing where the story is going or not meeting the main character until around halfway through. If you do decide to pick this up, I would say stick with it. It gets so good. This book actually made me realize how much I love a uh, family saga type genre of books. So like about not just one character, about them and their ancestors and how it all interconnects. And then you see the giant storyline. And maybe that's because I'm an Arab. So like we have big families, but like, I, I don't know. It's just really good. The next book I have to recommend is Flipped by Wendelin Van Dranen. Uh, it's about a boy and a girl. Uh, it is romance, but it isn't like in-your-face romance. It's very subtle, and it's when they're young, when they're in middle school. Uh, it's not only about their romance, it's about uh, family, friendship, um, the world around them, how to view life, pretty much. Really good. Uh, I love recommending this book to people. No one listens to me, but like I really, really like this book. The next book I have to recommend is Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King. This book is about a boy named Lucky. I don't know what to say without giving it away, but it also involves magical realism. So A.S. King's books have a lot of this, which I really, really like. It's very, very refreshing when you're outside of fantasy and also outside of very realistic fiction, but then you get magical realism. This is really good. If I could recommend one book out of all of these that I'm sure most people will like, I would go with Wonder, just because I feel like it's very universal. Uh, anyone who I've met has read it loved it or at least didn't hate it again five out of five zero rating which is amazing i don't think any other book has that not even harry potter so i mean obviously i recommend harry potter the hunger games fault in our stars all the basic books but like these are slightly outside the norm books that i feel like most people will like uh again start with wonder work your way down let me know what you think uh tell me if you've read any of these books or if you have any books that you think that i might like this was a lot of fun. It didn't require much effort to, like, thinking on my part because I know that these books I love. Um, have a good day. Uh, Vida day four, so going strong. Not dead yet. I can't promise to continue throughout, but we'll see. So far, so good. Um, cool. See ya. Goodbye.